All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So when you open up the enamel pin mockup PSD file, this is what it'll look like. Now you can see that I've labeled these layers here in red and these are blank. That's because you really don't need to open up these folders and mess with any of those settings. There's some interesting stuff in there and you know some of the shadows and things and you can also change the background color, but really you don't need to go that far into it. All you need are these three layers right here. So when you open up a Photoshop file and you see this little icon on your thumbnails, that means that this is a smart object. So a smart object is basically an embedded Photoshop file inside of another Photoshop file and you can use it to edit the embedded file and it'll automatically create those changes or whatever you do to it in your master file. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When you have a smart object, all you have to do is double click on the icon here and it'll open up another Photoshop file and you'll see that it's actually a PSB and not a PSD. I usually like to open them up and then separate my tabs into other windows and that way I can really just see everything that I'm working on all at once. So I'm also going to go ahead and open this metal outline smart object and this metal colors smart object. All right, let's lay this out so that I have like a good workspace here. And this is really how I like to use files, especially when they have multiple smart objects inside of them. It really helps you see what's going on. So this is a good expanded view so that you can see how the artwork is input into this Photoshop file. So you'll notice that there's an outline and there is a fill file. And all you have to do is put your artwork into one of these files here save it and it'll automatically update what it looks like in the template file. So this scorpion outline is automatically stylized into this, you know, fancy shiny gold outline over here. Let me show you what I mean. So there are a couple of other uh, example artworks that I left in this template so you could see how things work. So let's go ahead and turn off the scorpion outline and turn on the life's tough club outline and click save and you'll see that it updates over here automatically. So I'm gonna come into the enamel fill smart object, turn off the scorpion fill, turn on the life's tough club fill, press save. Now I'm gonna go to the metal smart object, turn off the gold, turn the silver on, press save. And now this is exactly what I wanted this file to look like. That's pretty much all you have to do I'll show you exactly how it works with another piece of art that I have already. So this is a pin that I designed for Fresher Than, but we haven't actually made it into a pin yet. So I'll go ahead and use this art here. So I'm just gonna copy this whole group of the outline and color and take it back into Photoshop. I'm gonna go into the outline smart object here. It doesn't matter which one you start with, but I'm gonna paste that art in here just as pixels. Click OK. I'm going to scale this up a little bit so that it's the size that I want it in the mock-up. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Life's Tough Club outline here. Now this part's really important. You want to make sure that this artwork is the same size in both of these smart objects here. So the easiest way to do that is to have both files open as smart objects and click and drag the layer into the second window while holding shift and it'll just duplicate it into the same space and as the same size as it is in the original file. You could also right click and select duplicate layer, select the document that you want it to go to, click okay and it'll copy over there, but that just takes more time. All right, so let's say we're in this fill layer. What we wanna do is choose the eraser tool by pressing E and make sure that you have the magic eraser selected. This way you're not using the eraser as a brush and you're actually just using it more like a paint bucket where you can click on a color and it will delete all of that color. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the outline here since I'm in the enamel fill layer. And I'm gonna come to the metal outline one and I'm going to delete all of the fill colors. And then I'm going to go into the metal smart object, turn gold back on, and then I'm going to save all of these smart objects. And you'll see it update over here in the template. And that's really it. I mean, it's super easy. There are a couple things that you have to remember about pin design. One of those things is that every color must be separated by an outline, which is the metal. 
Because the way that they make pins is they mold this metal into this design as the outline and they inject the colors between those metal outlines. So every single color has to be separated from each other. But really any artwork works in here, uh, especially if you're familiar and already designing pins. It's just super easy and it's super helpful to get you a nice realistic looking mock-up very fast. I wanna show you one other trick. So I also included a, another piece of sample art in this file. And that's this uh, Selena as a Simpsons character drawing that I did a while back. So we'll turn on this um, outline here in the metal outline file, press save. And then in the fill, you'll see that I've actually split up the colors into two different layers. So on this first layer, I have the hair and skin color. And then on the second layer, I have this purple jumpsuit fill here. Now I've also included these two glitter texture layers if you turn these on, you can see that they're already set up as a clipping mask over this purple. And they create this nice little like glitter um, shiny effect because you can actually use glitter when you're making pins. So let's turn the black layer on in this metal smart object and boom, perfect. I love the way that looks. I think it looks super realistic and it's exactly what I was hoping it was gonna be like. Seeing that, you can really see how you can play with the fill part of this and customize it to whatever you need to do. And this file does come with these glitter textures, so it's super easy to start there, especially because the way that I have it made is that you can change the color on this like purple layer and make it red or blue or whatever you want it to be. Although we know Selena's famous jumpsuit was purple here. so. You can use that um, to create your own glitter colors and it's super helpful. All right, so you can see how easy that is. I think this is a super, super useful tool, um, especially if you're trying to do something like create a pre-order for a pin that you're gonna make, but you don't have the physical samples in hand to take product photos of. This will really help you show people exactly what it's gonna look like whenever it's ready. It's super easy, super intuitive. Just go have some fun with it. So this is a Photoshop template that I created for my Patreon subscribers. People who signed up at the $10 level will get automatic access to this and all of my future templates, fonts, assets, everything that I'm gonna be making. If you wanna just buy this template by itself, you can grab that on my Creative Market page. So I'll throw both of those links down in the comments and probably somewhere here in the video screen. I really appreciate you guys checking this out and please go check out all of my other videos, my other tutorials for Photoshop and Illustrator. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.